My name is Mziana Bulani. I'm born and bred here in this at Street, Tanji location. Okay, I tell I was raised here all my life. I stayed here until 2005 when I left for Jobe to go to UJ. Yeah, then I came back. 2012, then I started uh, the business selling vests and happy socks. Came COVID in 2020, so I, it was a struggle to order. So I started uh, with the veg, vegetables. Combos whereby I will buy small, I will buy cabbages and stuff, cabbages, onion, potatoes, tomatoes, uh, and do the small combos and sell for people. So I sell the veg, the veg picked up. Uh, remember, by when I started the veggies. They were, I think it was level five or, the, yeah, the first level five. So there were no, people were not moving. So I, what I do, I do deliveries at homes, in homes. So I would buy veg and sell it, going door to door, or not door to door. I post it on Facebook and other, then people will call that, no, you can bring us. And bring us, then I, I did that. <clears throat> uh, as the lockdown was uh, changing, even the veg was just going down. It was the business of the veggies were not such. Then I thought of introducing uh, the one I'm doing here, like selling maquinha, potato chips, all of those things. Then I did that. I'm still doing it. Then, uh, as I was doing it, uh, this, this year, I thought while I was sitting here, doing, uh, I was sitting here, while I was, I decided, okay, I look at Facebook and stuff, I look too much on Facebook. I saw people complaining about chewing and, and all those things. Then I, I did that. So I've got calls, people asking, come and do me some, take my CV and so they want to to then I did that. That's what I'm doing with the bike, more on the bike, uh, delivering maybe CVs and all of those things, even delivering food. Latest after that, after the interview you talk about with robots, I started to sell cheese. So now I'm, I also I, I sell cheese. Uh, yeah, I think it's. Then who? I think I was in It's because my father, my father used this used to be a big shop. Uh, before 1994, before yeah, uh, like seventies, eighties. It was this structure. Was uh, I think 1970, yeah, so it was a shop, yeah. So I think that's what motivated me to, the, to be a business person, because I see this, this before I even use it, it was closed. So I decided, okay, let me open back with this shop, so I'm running all these things here.
a reward you part of the work is to give service to the people who need it. Yeah, when people are glad of the service I gave, to me it's, it's rewarding. It's either the way, whenever part of the business where someone says, for example, when I delivered um, uh, and all the chips, when someone said, hey, I was hungry, then I'm full. So to me it's rewarding. Uh, in, Yes, even the financial part of it, it's, it's rewarding as well. But it's that service, uh, which I look more, uh, more than the finances. The other part, yes, it's moving, yeah. Going maybe using bicycle for like going. In the, in the place where you find someone is no longer even needing that help, you were offering. You wake up and go to the place and then someone does not pitch up. It's become, yeah, it's become the... And then using the bicycle, sometimes I need to... Sometimes the weather, the weather it's not good. So it's become a challenge, but because if I take taxi to town, the bicycle, it, it makes things faster. I do things faster. Then when I walk, even some before I use the bicycle, because the bicycle, I've got this bicycle from someone I don't even know. It was just, someone just there. He, Again, it was just this thing of Facebook saying, oh, I need it because someone is said, I don't have a space for this bicycle anymore. So I took it. I said, give it to me. And he said, okay, I will give you. Then we didn't talk for maybe a two months, but he saw someone Commending, or I commended to someone else. I, I remember I was running with that guy, Jaco. I was running, it's working at roads, so we used to run together. So he saw me with talking with Jaco, so he gave Jaco the bicycle, so Jaco delivered it to me. So I was grateful for that because by that time I was walking when I deliver and people will complain that hey, you took longer with your deliveries. With the bicycle now, at least I uh, my delivery time it's have been cut a lot. People are happy with the delivery time. Sometimes many are happy that okay you we still we were still waiting but you were faster. I try to spend my time with the family on the weekends and there are days where the business is no do. It's not always uh, busy. But I try by all means to spend time with the because there are times like I was busy earlier then now I was not busy. So there are time where I spend the, with the family. I try to spend more time with the family too. Uh, I cut the time with friends and other activities I, I used to like a lot. Yo, um, okay, I went to Jobek to study. The first year it was good. Uh, I passed, I did well. Then the second year, uh, I still I remember I got Nefsas the first year. Then second year, I was approached because I went, when I was living for Grimstown, I was already singing for a local choir here. It's ever since uh, my high school days. So when I arrived at Jobek, 
I found the choir, the school choir. Then we, I participated in the school choir. Then I was elected to the management, like to the leadership positions. I will let me see uh, if I can say. It. So when I was there, because I was staying very far from the from the campus, I was staying with my aunt, who was staying very, very far from the campus. So when I go to the campus, I used to take about two taxis to the campus. So I was organized to move to the rest. So I moved to the rest. What happened to the rest where I moved, it was the leadership rest whereby all those who are in the league having leadership roles in different in different areas maybe of the students uh, students or whatever at school. So that's why I think I messed up a lot. Because now we were somewhere were like PhD somewhere doing so we there will be party anytime. So I started to do those because now I was not staying with my aunt. I had my own time. I will come from then I will attend the more and I was having access to attend more things. I started to be just not focusing on my books uh, until uh, the results came. They were very, very bad. So I had to crop out. I remember I was doing, I was studying through Nephsus. So I had to crop out and my, my mom, uh, my mom is, is getting trans. So he couldn't take me anywhere. Then I came back. That's... I stay. I tried to stay in Jobe to look for work, and then I, I I was not successful. So after a few years being there, trying to get something, I decided to come back. Then when I was here. When I was here, back here, I started to become so much active in local things like activism, I would say politics of, of the town. So I became active and active and active then I, until I started the business. And the businesses, so I started to spend more, lesser time than I was spending before. Yeah, my advice, uh, uh, you must be, put more commitment on the business more than anything. The business, uh, business is like a baby. If you don't look after it, it goes down. But if you go look after it, it grows. So every time you must like just, and you must not focus on one kind of a business. You must just take any opportunity the business comes with and other businesses that can come. Yeah, because looking at one kind of a business, when things are not good, it, it can just easily collapse. But if you do a lot of things differently, it can, you can get somewhere. Life, life in, in itself, we are not, we are not, we should not expect anything. Just live life as it comes. 
So that's why even in all my business, I, that's how I took the business. If things happen, happens. If things don't happen, don't. Life is going up and down in itself. So it's just sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Just accept it. Yeah, my plans uh, were just to have a big business, man, uh, like to manage my own business. That's what my. That's why I did business management. I wanted to manage my own. Even now, I I, I still say I will go back to school and do. I know now I'm. At least my mind is no longer like when I started. I think the time was not right when I went to school. Now I think I have, I knew why I wanted to do it. As I see, I'm not yet there whereby I will only be there when I see this, for example, this place. There are so much vacant space here. There are things which are not supposed to be here, which are here. So it, it's, not, it's not the business I want. It's something that, yes, I'm still operating here, but I want the bigger things. I want the bigger, like I want uh, in my Biggest dream, for example, here, I want maybe to be a, a proper township restaurant, not even township, a proper restaurant, uh, which maybe could be the first one in Makanda. Yeah, the proper restaurant, whereby even tourists can come, even the students can come. Yeah. I. I named this one Poi Kitchen, so I will just, because Poi is my father, so that's how my father was known, it's a nickname for my father, that's how my father was known here in the community, in the township. So even when they refer to this yard, they usually say Poi, so that's why I, I, I thought, okay, if it's here, let me remain with that name, because Men majority knew the name already. It's a brand.